just waiting for people to join. <clears throat> um, hello and uh, welcome everyone to, uh, good evening Christelle, good evening everyone or good, good day everyone wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to this uh, class, it's a moving into stillness class. Hello Fleur, nice to see you again. Um, so my intent with this class is to take us through a very traditional pattern of uh, practice that brings us to a better place for meditating. And this is rooted, hello Barbara. Um, this is rooted in um, Indian philosophy or yogic philosophy. The idea being that uh, everything, including ourselves, is made up of three basic energies. Uh, it's called Rajas, Tamas, hello Jess, and uh, Sattva. So Rajas is the uh, busy, active, creative energy. Tamas is the dull, lethargic, earth energy. And Sattva is kind of right in the middle, the, the, the perfect pudding, as it were. And so the practices that we're going to go through are designed to uh, dissipate the kind of agitation of the Rajas dissipate the lethargy of the tamas and get us to a place where we are ready to meditate. As usual, just a few points before we begin. First is that I'm um, live streaming in uh, portrait mode. So if you've got your camera turned or your screen turned one way, you might want to try to turn it more vertical. Um, I uh, usually offer this class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but won't be here this uh, coming Thursday. I'm off to see my daughter and do some guest teaching elsewhere. And lastly, um, uh, as always, the practice itself is done um, for free. And uh, if you're finding value or benefit from the classes, uh, then your donations are more than uh, gladly accepted. With all that, <laughs> let's get on with our practice. So find your way to your mat. And as you come to your mat, <coughs> Sit up nice and tall, bring your hands somewhere comfortable. I'm sitting on a bolster. Take a nice big inhale. A long exhale, close your eyes. And welcome once again to your yoga practice. So lovely to have you here today. As you rest here with the eyes closed, allow your attention, your awareness to sink into the base of your body, feeling a sense of heaviness, a sense of arriving onto your mat, into your practice, into this body, this breath, this moment. Feeling the gentle rise and fall of your own breathing. Dissipating any kind of obvious tensions in your face, your shoulders, your abdomen, and just allowing the breath to be nice and easy. <clears throat> and settling down and in, and as you begin to connect with the breath, you'll notice how you are doing today, what it is that you're bringing to your practice, how's your body, how's your heart, how's your mind. I'm working with all that's arising today. Beautiful. If there's a specific intention that you have for your practice, allow that to be felt. Move towards that earnestly and honestly throughout your practice. From there, take a big inhale, open your eyes, reach your arms up overhead, nice big inhale, and exhale, bring your hands back down to your knees. Joint opening begins, so just a few circles of the neck, just very slow circles, about three times in one direction. Gently circling around and three times in the other direction. We're trying to warm up and mobilize 
the joints of the body at the right at the start of this practice. Roll your shoulders back a few times and then roll your shoulders forwards a few times. Start going side to side. Just a gentle twist, waking up through the spine about three times in each direction. Beautiful. Bring your hands up, interlace your fingers, roll your wrists. Notice the elbows going up and down. Notice the snap, crackle, pop in the wrists. Go the other way, bringing things up there. And shake out your hands back and forth, round and round. Hands on your knees, it's called Sufi grinding. So moving about the pelvis. One, two, three, and three times the other way. One, two, and three. Lovely, inhale your hands up overhead again. And exhale, <clears throat> fold forwards, bringing your hands in front of you as best you can, wherever that might be. Feeling a sense of elongation from your tailbone up through the top of your head and letting your hands walk forwards as much as is reasonable for you here. Just creating a bit of elongation through the torso, the arms, letting your head relax a bit. Nice. And then slowly come forwards, tuck your toes, and just walk your hands back as you rise to a half folded position, your knees nicely bent, your head draped down, shoulders nicely relaxed. Give everything a kind of a shiggle, a shake, decompress the neck one more time, the shoulders. Nice. And then as you inhale, we'll come about halfway up, send your head forward, straighten your legs a bit. Exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale, halfway up. And exhale to fold. With your knees nicely bent, your feet rooted, inhale, reach your hands out to the side, rise all the way up. And exhale, bring your hands down and through to your hips. Adjust your clothing, <laughs> feet come back together. Spine mobilization comes up next. So we're gonna to move to the different motions of the spine. So getting rid of any craziness or agitation there. Arms overhead, many options here. Hands can be separated, fingers interlaced. It could have your hands flipped over. You could be holding your opposite wrists, whatever works for you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend to the right as you're exhaling. So we're coordinating movement and breath here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go to the left, sliding your hips side to side here. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. And one more time, inhale, up. And exhale, over. So this is lateral flexion of the spinal column. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to your heart one single back bend. So a little bend in your knees as you're inhaling, push your hips forward, a little squeeze of the bum, extend the abdomen, lift your heart, look up at the ceiling, try not to drop your head back, and then begin to send your hands overhead, still your hands might be touching, reach way back, so chest up, gaze up, and here just a little bit of an extra movement would be to bring your hands in hidden prayer behind your neck, elbows bending, and getting even more intense back bend. Yum. Inhale, come back up. And as you exhale, sit down into the chair. Little twist to the spine, big inhale again. Exhale your right hand outside your left knee, your left hand to your low back, and just a gentle twist and peek over the left shoulder. Inhale, stand all the way up. And exhale, sit down and twist to the right, left hand outside the right knee, right hand to low back, and peek over the shoulder. Let's do that one more time with the breath, inhaling to stand. Exhale, supported twist to the left. Inhale to stand. And exhale, supported twist to the right. Yeah. Inhale all the way up, and here exhale, dive all the way forwards. So we're gonna to continue to warm our body up here. Inhale to lengthen, 
and exhale, take one leg back, the other leg back to a plank position. <clears throat> a plank is not altogether accessible in all bodies. Maybe you want to drop your knees down, that's totally fine. But find a sense of pushing the ground away, nice and full through your upper back, legs squeezing towards one another. And then slowly we will go down to the mat. Knees down, feet flatten out, lie down, all the way down. And then rooting your pelvic bone down into the floor, inhale, send your heart forwards. Gather your elbows towards the sides of your body. It's a bit of a back bend. And exhale, come down. And as you inhale, come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, and push your bum up and back, like a good old downward dog. And paddle your legs out a bit here. So bend one knee, straighten the other leg, waking up the backs of our legs, and letting your head drip down, continuing to decompress our cervical spine, our neck. Nice. And then slowly, slowly, we'll walk your feet up the mat, come to the top of the mat, feet a little bit separated, and let your bum sink down into the chair and keep it there as you inhale and swoop your arms up and bring your hands to your heart. Uh, seated prayer. So chest nice and proud. This will build a bit of heat through your legs. You can play around with the positioning of your bum. It could be sticking out or your knees could be forwards. Those will have different effects in the body. So whatever it is that feels right to you and your body, allow that to happen here. And then as you inhale, stand all the way up. And as you exhale, bring your hands all the way back down. Still warming ourselves up, so your heart rate might be elevated a bit. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, dive all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen a half lift. And exhale, take your, just your right leg back, a long step, and drop your right knee to the mat. Maybe you put something under your knee for a little bit of cushioning if you need. Inhale, both hands overhead. And exhale to stabilize. Feel your back toes nicely tucked here. Take a big inhale to a bit of a back bend. And then exhale, lean forwards, lift your back knee, and flare your hands out wide, a leaning lunge. If it feels like your feet are too far apart, shorten up your step. And then inhale your hands overhead, let your back knee bend a little bit. Settle in here, right hip a little bit forwards, left hip a little bit back. Another big inhale. And as you exhale, begin turning to the left and bring your hands open, palms face up, looking over your left shoulder. So a lunge with a twist. Not so easy, wobbling will happen. Inhale your hands overhead, gaze forwards, and exhale, step your feet together, swing your hands behind, and inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, wash your hands down. Take another easy breath here, big inhale. got to do that on the other side. Inhale your hands all the way up. Exhale, dive all the way forwards. Inhale to lengthen, half lift. Exhale, left leg back, a long step, left toes tucked, left knee down to the mat. Inhale your arms overhead and exhale to stabilize. So the sense of the left hip moving back, right hip moving forwards, outer hips nice and strong. Big inhale, a bit of a back bend, and then exhale, lean forward, lift your back knee, flare your hands, so your back toes are tucked, obviously. Again, if it feels too challenging, shorten up the step. And as you inhale, rise up to standing, or to a torso erect, back knee a little bit bent. Find your stability, nice big inhale, as you exhale, turn to your right, palms face up, torso nice and tall and proud, breathing comfortably here. Yeah. Inhale your hands overhead, and exhale, step forwards, hands swing behind. Inhale, rise all the way up, and exhale, wash those hands down. 
the front of the ball. From here, uh, with your feet together and your hands on your hips, bend your knees and jump off your mat. <laughs> Turn your toes out, your heels in. Bend your knees, sink down. So we're shifting slightly into some grounding work now. So we did some warming work. Now we want to ground ourselves and stay nice and calm. So getting rid of any of the craziness that might be arising in our bodies. And then bring your hands out front into what might look like prayer in front of you. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, we'll bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand out to the side, 90 degrees, looking out to the right thumb. Pull that left elbow back. This is archer pose. It looks like you're pulling a bow. And your gaze is out over that right thumb. As you inhale, bring your hands forward, straighten your legs. And as you exhale, bend your legs again. This time, bring your right hand to your heart. Left arm swoops out and look to the left. You feel your breath rise and fall comfortably. Trying to stay present and calm. And then again, inhale, hands forwards. Exhale, archer to the right, looking to the right. Inhale, hands forwards, legs straighten, of course. A little bit of relief, thank goodness. Exhale, sit down, look to the left. And again, inhale, rising. Exhale to the right. Using these movements to ground ourselves, inhale forwards. Exhale left. Nice. Inhale forwards. Exhale, hands to your hips. Pause here. Take a few breaths. And again, helping to ground ourselves, bend your knees, bring your hands in front of you, palms face down, moving energy in six directions. As you inhale, pull your hands up slowly. As you exhale, push your hands away from you. As you inhale, draw your hands in. And as you exhale, push your hands out. Inhale, draw them back in. And exhale, push down and straighten your legs. Yay! One more time like that. Inhale, sitting. Exhale, pushing. Inhale, drawing. Exhale, expanding out to the sides, wrists flexed. Inhale, draw it in. And exhale, push it down. Nice. Hands on your hips, square your toes, bend your knees, and jump to the middle of your mat, and just go side to side a couple times. This is a very specific protocol that I'm trying to take you through that will slowly bring us to a place of meditation. And probably ideally it's about a two hour class if we were to do it fully and properly, but just 45 minutes today and then pause. Eagle pose from goat pose. So bring your heels out, your toes in, and bend your knees until your knees touch. You're gonna to feel that probably through the heads of the, or the fronts of the ankles. And what we've done here is we've internally rotated your hips. So both hips are turned inwards. And for eagle pose, this is quite helpful. So keep your hips low. Lean over to your left foot and keep that right hip internally rotated. Right leg comes up and over and maybe it tucks behind the calf of the left leg. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just kicking it, kickstand or lift it. But this internal rotation helps to create the, the structure needed to sustain this. Right leg's on top, so right arm has to go underneath. Inhale your hands up and exhale bring your right elbow under your left elbow. If you wobble, so what? So did I. <laughs> Bring your right elbow under your left and your hands can go your shoulders or backs of hands or fronts of hands together. Sink down and put a bit of a back bend into it. 
Take your gaze nice and wide so you can see everything going on around you. And then on an inhale, release arms and legs and exhale. Wash your hands down onto your hips. Go pose again, we gotta do the other side. The joys of yoga. So heels out, toes in, and keeping those knees more or less touching. Internal rotation of your hips. Lean to the right, don't lift the hips. Left leg up and over, foot might tuck behind. Might, doesn't necessarily gonna happen. Left leg's on top, that means your left arm goes underneath. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, left arm under right. Eagle pose. Again, wobbling <laughs> is happening in this body here, but be okay with that. It's normal. Trying to find poise, equanimity, calmness in the moment. And then when you're ready, it's going to be an inhale to release. Foot down, hands up. And exhale. Wash your hands down. One more breath like that. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, hands down to your hips. So we are now shifting into balancing the energy. So we grounded it. Now we're trying to balance things. Tree pose, great for that. Turn your right foot out a little bit. So heels touching. And what we've done is we've externally rotated your right hip. Options here to bring your heel to your ankle, your calf, or somewhere higher. Press your leg to your foot, your foot to your leg. Feel a connection with the earth, and then draw your hands up to your heart. Stabilize here. Try not to let that left hip move off to the left, so keep it integrated. You're lifting up out of the pelvis. And then your hands go up, separate, and let your shoulders gently integrate. Hands are bright. It's almost like there's a spiral line in your arms. Maybe even look up, allowing some wobbling to happen. Even allowing a smile to happen. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Nice big inhale and exhale. Hands to your heart. Inhale your knee forwards and exhale. Let everything settle. A little shake if you need to, just to settle and dissipate any energies. Turn your left foot out. Bring your left foot wherever you want to place it. Put some pressure between your leg and your foot. Try to keep the right hip integrated. And then pulling energy from the ground through the pelvis to your heart a good place to stay if you like and then if you want elevating your hands your arms maybe looking up and trying to really embody the energy of the tree so it's deeply rooted and it's pulling that nourishing energy from the earth and radiating it upwards to the sky beautiful connecting earth and heaven through this lovely body of ours. Nice big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale your knee forwards. And exhale, bring your foot back down. From the back of your mat, take a nice big inhale. And exhale, dive all the way forwards. Walk your hands up the mat to that darn plank position. And this time, come on to your elbows. Elbows down, fingers could be interlaced. Try not to squish the bottom baby finger. Again, option to drop your knees down if that's more accessible for you. And sustaining this, there's two actions here. One is it could feel like you're trying to stretch your mat apart by pressing your feet away from you and your forearms forwards. So that's one action. And the other is exactly the opposite. It feels like your elbows are drawing towards your feet, your feet to your elbows. That'll really engage the core. And then slowly, knees down, pelvis down, but keep your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Spread your hands out, palms face down, and then drop your chin down. And just take a few simple movements side to side to sense into the upper back, releasing any kind of 
obvious tensions that you might be perceiving there. Yeah. And then slowly lift your head, overlap your hands, flare your elbows out wide and lie down, forehead on your hands. Taking a few simple breaths here. Allowing your breath rate to slow down, your heart rate to slow down. Remembering our intention is to go from movement through to stillness. And all of this movement so far has just been purposely designed to dissipate sort of the tensions of the body. A single back bend from here. Place your chin on the mat, take your hands out wide to the sides of your body, palms face down, and then simply elevate off the ground. Lift your torso, lift your arms, lift your head, lift your legs. This is called locust pose. You can bow pose there if you want. You could bend your knees and grab your feet and kick or not. Find the rhythm of your breathing here. It's a bit compromised. Your belly is pressing on the mat, so it's not so easy. Nice big inhale, and then exhale. Hands by your shoulders, push up to your knees. Knees stay wide. Child's pose at the back of the mat, elbows down, head down. You'll feel a bit of spinal traction probably here. Quite yummy. Again, taking a few breaths, nice and slow, nice and full. And then slowly, slowly begin to walk your hands in, coming to a bit of a seat towards the back of the mat and swinging your legs out front. I'll take a couple of symmetric poses, I'll face you. First one is bound angle pose. Bring the bottoms of your feet together in front of you. They could be farther away or closer, depends on how it works for your body. You could hold on to your shins or your feet. Do lift your heart and pull your heart forwards first and then round in. So letting the upper spine round, your chin drop, looking towards your feet. Bound angle pose, this is called. tending to any of the tensions or funky energies that might exist into the groins, the hips, just letting things relax there. A little tug might be nice, but be, you know, be mindful. We're not trying to hurt ourselves, just a gentle tug. Noticing your breath rate slow down. Letting go of tension in your face. And then slowly begin to sit up. Hold on to your knees. Draw your knees together. Extend your legs out long. Give your legs a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a shake. And Paschimottanasana, big forward fold. Inhale your arms overhead. And then folding from your hip crease, look well below your belly button here. So lift up, fold over top of your belly, and reach your hands forwards wherever they're going to go. It could be your shins, the mat, your feet. And try to keep your gaze more forward. So we're trying to create a, an extension through the entire back chain of the body from your heels to your tailbone, tailbone up through the back of your neck. I'm holding my feet and bending my elbows just to facilitate that sense of elongation. So mimicking that in some way in your body. Feeling that sense of length through the entire back of the body. Again, sinking into long, slow breathing, long, slow exhales. slowly slowly rise back up draw your knees in towards you give yourself a bit of a hug and then gently lie down on your back 
Keep your knees squeezed in. Trying to flatten out the back of your spine. Chin a little bit tucked. Nice firm squeeze. You'll feel that again in through the hips. Chin tucked, your gaze down the middle of the body. And then drop your feet to the mat with your knees bent. We'll take bridge pose or if wheel pose is in your practice, more than welcome to do that. Just touch your heels with your fingertips and slowly press with your feet to lift your pelvis off the ground. We're feeling the weight pushed across the upper back and then you can decide how to play with your hands. Your hands could be interlaced underneath your back and you might tuck your shoulders under. You might walk your feet in and try to grab your ankles and push your pelvis up a bit more. Or you might have your arms framing your head overhead, holding your elbows, whatever feels good to you there. And a little bit of movement perhaps, just to feel that sense of elongation or front side extension that this pose offers. Yeah. And then slowly unwind, let your spine unwind slowly, bring your arms back down, draw your knees into your chest again, holding on with your hands, little tuck of the chin. And then gently roll on to your right hand side, letting your hands relax and then send your left arm out to the left, palm face up. You can use your right hand to hold your knees down and you're looking out towards your left hand, spine twist. And we're trying to meet this twist with as much relaxation as possible. So nice long breaths here particularly your exhales nice and long. Let go of any tension you're perceiving in your forehead, your cheeks, your jaw. Softening in, softening in. And then slowly, slowly come back through center. Just pause there. I'm going to hold my knees in again. Take a few breaths there. And then we'll roll onto the left hand side of your body. Send your right arm out to the side, right shoulder gets to the ground somehow. <laughs> Palm face up and look to the right. Maybe holding your knees down with your left hand. Again, find that place of a long, slow, rhythmic breath. Make it feel really yummy. Letting go of those senses of tension or resistance that might be in the shoulder. I know there's a bit going on in my right shoulder. Just exhale into that. And slowly unwind. This time send both arms, both legs up to the sky, to the ceiling, and roll your wrists and the ankles a few times one way and the other way. And then gently shake it out, getting rid of any remaining stuff in the arms and legs. And then slowly lie down on your mat. Letting your feet flop open, the tailbone a little tucked, chin a little tucked, hands beside the side of the body, palms face up. Take a nice big inhale and a long exhale. And please stay like that for a couple of minutes here. I'll guide you through it. Or simply allowing yourself to watch your breathing, rising and falling as you lie on your back. 
letting any sense of tension that's in your face or shoulders or body or torso just to dissipate. Feeling your breath rising, rising, and falling, falling. Savasana is a very purposeful um, pose to help us to ground and realize the benefits of the physical practice, to integrate all of that movement. Rising and falling with the breath. From this place, begin to more precisely focus your awareness on the tip of your nose. Feeling that coolness of your inhales and the warmth and moisture of your exhales right at the tip of your nose. Notice the sensation in both nostrils. Allowing both nostrils to feel equally open. And try to make a connection so as you're breathing in, noticing the right nostril Connecting that to the left side of your head, the left brain, right nostril, the left side. And connect left nostril to the right side of your brain, your head, feeling that cross connection. And on both sides, so right to left, left to right as you breathe. harmonizing the two sides of the mind through our breath. Bringing everything into balance. All right, we're not quite done yet. We've got another seven or eight minutes left. So from this place, begin to breathe a bit more fully on the inhales, inviting some deeper, fuller inhales into your body. And at some point, inhale your arms up overhead, take a good morning stretch. You're stretching it out one side and the other. And then from there, roll to one side or the other into a fetal position Gently make your way up to a seat facing forwards on your back. I still have two more practices to go. The first will be a breathing practice, and the last will be that final meditation that this has been all about. So, as you come to your seat, We'll be doing what's called pranayama or breath practice. Allow your hands to be on either your knees, palms face up is more receptive, palms face down if you're still feeling a bit of agitation. Zen meditation or Zen mountain pose, so just your um, non-dominant hand on the bottom, thumbs touching, resting in your lap. Or even Anjali mudra, your fingertips touching, thumbs touching at the heart. feeling your breath rising and falling here. We'll begin to modulate your breathing to begin. So we'll be inhaling for about four seconds, holding your breath for three and exhaling for seven seconds. So empty, first of all, and inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Right away, inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath in, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, and exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. From this place, let yourself take a nice big inhale, a long exhale, and again, a nice big inhale, and a long exhale. Nice, that was just a simple breath regulation practice. So from this place, moving towards our final meditation, hands, palms, wherever they want to be, on your knees or on your lap, your eyes closed. Take a big inhale again and exhale, rest in. A useful starting place for meditation is called shamatha meditation or calm abiding. Or simply calmly abiding in the rise and fall of our breathing. Whenever the mind or some external distraction arises, we bring the mind back to just calmly abiding in the movement of your breath. So feeling the inhale rising, rising, and feeling your exhale falling, falling. Allowing a nice, gentle, round, and spacious breath to arise. Dissipating any tensions in the face, the shoulders. the qualities of your body, mind, and heart now towards the ending of our practice. Just familiarizing yourself with the effects of these subtle energetic practices, movement, breath, meditation. bringing someone or something near and dear to you towards your heart, bringing them at the heart, Anjali Mudra. So hands in, fingertips touching, thumbs touching the sternum as if you were holding something precious between your hands, bringing to mind that loved one. Repeating quietly in your own mind after me, with this person in mind. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy, healthy, strong, and free. May you be happy, healthy, strong, and free. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be peaceful and at ease. Release your hands down. Take a nice big inhale. And a long exhale to sigh. And thank you once again, my worldwide friends, for practicing along with me and along with everyone else here today. I hope you have a beautiful day ahead of you. Namaste. And I will stay online as usual for a few minutes. 
happy to take any questions you might have. I know that was fairly uh, brief practice. I will be uh, offering this as a recording on other channels. Just you can look at my profile for that information. If you, as always, found some kind of value or benefit to this practice, um, your donation is more than gladly accepted. They help me to sustain this offering and also to get some better equipment. I'm looking to, to get some, some mics at some point here. Thank you, Fleur. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Haley. I'm glad you like that. <clears throat> Um, and so, yes, I'm going to have a great time with my daughter and, um, I'm doing a bit of guest teaching out in Tofino. Um, thank you, Haley. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Fleur. Yeah, doing a bit of guest teaching, which is a real honor for me to be invited by another studio to come. I'll be doing some, uh, Hatha, some Yin, some Vinyasa. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. Thank you from Charles and Jess. Thank you, thank you, Barbara. This was just wow, <laughs> really great. Thank you, Christelle. Oh, processing sadness, I know. Just take your time with this. Yeah, not so easy. But I'm glad you liked it. I hope to see you again soon, everyone. Have a beautiful day again, and do take care. <clears throat>